In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Uh, days uh, of uh, the Holy, the days of the Holy Week are the, the most holy days of the whole year. Uh, anyone who wants to connect more to God, he wants to just pay more attention and more focus to such days. And if you are to like, st store as much possible spiritual depth of the, during these days, this could help you for the rest of the year. You just uh, like uh, be focused during these coming five, six days of the Holy Week, and this will give you like a, a spiritual push to 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 like you, you you can move forward in your spiritual life. That's that's how growth happen in our spiritual lives when we use such spiritual events uh, to uh, absorb as much spirituality as much connection with the Lord as 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 we can in the gospel reading the f of the first hour that was read to us tonight it was uh, read from the gospel of Saint John some Greeks came to Philip the disciple and and he told them sir we wish to see Jesus and in fact that's a great uh, spiritual desire that uh, that could could be your desire and my, my desire at the beginning of such holy week, such a great week. Tell yourself, Lord, I wish to see you during this week. And if we come with this wish to Philip again and tell him, uh, Philip, we wish to see Jesus, he would answer us and say, as he, as he answered such, such uh, Greeks, he, he, took, he took the request to our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Lord answered them with a comprehensive answer that could be concluded in just a few words that says, if you want to see me, just follow me. Follow me to the cross. Follow me step by step until you reach to the cross. And that's basically how you're going to see me. If, if you look at, uh, at uh, this part of, um, of the reading, you will find that our Lord Jesus Christ saying, those who want to, s to see me have to look at the cross and follow me to the cross. And that's basically what we, you and me can do to spiritually see the Lord during, during this, this holy week. Go on, on Sunday to Jerusalem, where our Lord Jesus Christ is entering the city. You will find a multitude of people who are praising him, welcoming him, and spreading their cloths underneath the feet of the colt where the Lord was riding. And if you really want to see him, if you really want to have him as a king on your heart, just do the same as these people. See what, what kind of cloth you have that you can spread underneath his feet. Uh, the cloth was, was just an example or, a, or uh, something to symbolize the most valuable, expensive thing that he had. And see what is valuable for you. Uh, and just take it and let go of it. Put it underneath the feet of the Lord. Is it is it like a bad habit? Could be. Is it a, like a, a, a sin? Could be. Uh, a wrong relationship? Could be. Uh, whichever is is causing you to be to hinder the king the kingship of the Lord on you. That's something that has to be spread this week. Spread underneath His feet. Uh, Many people, they get hindered of seeing the Lord because of their pride. They feel, they feel like uh, the, they, they think too high of themselves and they feel that they, they need nothing. They, need, they don't need the Lord Himself. And uh, others are self-righteous, like they, they assume that they're, they're great in everything. They, they're blameless. They need uh, no repentance. They need no further confession. Uh, if, if, if this is the case, we need to just start tonight to repent and spread this underneath his feet because without this you will not see the Lord you will live your whole life without seeing the Lord I'm telling you if, if, the, if, if, I'm not, if I'm not having this in mind that I want to see the Lord always and I'm following him to the cross then it's, it's going to be too hard for me to survive uh, my, the rest of my life as a Christian and my whole spiritual uh, future could be at risk because I'm not seeing the Lord. Uh, on Monday, which is tomorrow, you go with him to the temple in Jerusalem. You'll, you'll see him cleansing the temple 
what is cleansing the temple is basically he's, he's driving out those who are selling and buying in the temple and ex exchanging money in the temple and uh, the reason he's doing this is that they, ha they abused or they misused the house of God where, where they're supposed to connect to God you're, they were supposed to pray to God in this house but they did uh, different things they did things that were not supposed to happen in the temple and that's to tell you and tell me if you really want to see the Lord you just need to come to church uh, for, for connection with God uh, don't just come to play in the gym don't just come to uh, see your friends that's not right you can do that for as 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 something like a, a complimentary something in the back of your mind but you're here to connect with the Lord like if, if you spend these three hours of the Pascha time thinking of thing, things outside of, of of the praise then you, you didn't meet with the Lord you didn't see the Lord today uh, and you wasted three hours of your time. You don't need to do that. If if you if you are to see the Lord, you need you need to be seriously connecting with Him. That's that's where you need to to connect with Him in the church, in your in your private room, and your during your quiet time. You need to connect with Him and do not do not just use the time of prayers, the time of connecting with God and doing other things that would have no purpose, no spiritual purpose for you. Also on Monday, if you really want to see the Lord, you just go and walk in the, in the, on the streets of Jerusalem and stay there at a tree that's called the fig tree. And this fig tree, the Lord will pass by it and he will curse it for one reason, because it has a lot of leaves from outside, but it, it has no fruits. And this, this fig tree is just a symbol of hypoc hypocrisy. Uh, and that's to tell you and to tell me uh, if you are a hypocrite, you will not see the Lord. Uh, what is a hypocrite? Someone who, who just shows something from outside that does not reflect his insight. You would, you would show that you're, you're uh, uh, a good person, you would show that you're, you're kind, but you're, your heart is full of hatred. You'll, you'll show that uh, you love everyone and you, you're really jealous of everyone around you. You would show that uh, you're... Uh, you're doing good things always, but in fact, what God sees in your heart is that you, you're, you're always for behind, behind doing things for your, for your own benefit, not for the benefit of others. You don't love enough, you don't forgive enough. You're a hypocrite because you come to church and tell people that I'm a saint, I'm, I'm doing the best. Go, come and, and learn from me. But God looks at your heart and my heart and says, no, that's not the case. You're a hypocrite. And such hypocrite tree, God has cursed there. Uh, so th that's to tell me and to tell you we need to repent hypocrisy. When, uh, when we do things that does not reflect our insight, that's, that's something major that could cause the Lord to, re to be really upset. So instead of having to, to uh, change the outside and make it as bad as the inside, better change the inside. Bear repent the sin. Bear, bear uh, make it a clean, pure heart. M make it a heart that can, that, that would allow the Lord to, to dwell in it. Uh, following the Lord, if you if you go on Tuesday, you'll find the Lord uh, uh, sitting with his disciples and teaching them some parables. And the main purpose of the parables is to tell them about uh, the the being greedy because he's, he's going to leave and come again. Uh, such parables, one, one example of such parables was the parable of the five wise and the five full virgins, uh, where the Lord says, be ready. Be ready because you don't know the time where I'm, where I'm going to come back again. Uh, uh, on Tuesday, you need, you need to learn to be, to be ready for the second coming of the Lord. If, if you really uh, want to, to see the Lord, you need to connect with him here on earth. That, uh, that it might not be very strange for you when you see him there in heaven. Uh, uh, be spiritually awake. Do not, uh, do not just take uh, things that, uh, well, it's a one week, and then we're just going to all forget about it. 
We're just going to come to the resurrection feast, eat like uh, futari food, and things are going to be the same as before. It's not going to work this way. If you, are, uh, if you are to see the Lord, you need to be always a sp spiritually awake. You don't know when you're going, and you don't know when, when he's going to come and visit you. So uh, me and you need to, need to be spiritually awake always. We need to connect with them always. We need to obey what the Bible says and uh, read the Bible regularly and reflect what we, what we read into, into actions in our lives. Uh, Tuesday of the Holy Pascha week is to tell you uh, if you want to see the Lord be spiritually awake. Uh, and if you go and on, uh, if you wanted to see the Lord on Wednesday, you, you just have to go and stay between, uh, stay with his disciples. You'll find one of them best friend of him betraying him very easily for a very cheap price um, and uh, this person which, who was uh, Judas Iscariot uh, did not want to stay in the presence of the Lord he did not want to see the Lord so he betrayed them he, he, bought, he, he, he took like money uh, in order for him to sell the Lord to other people and that's to tell me and to tell you again that uh, if you are to see the Lord, you, you need to watch not to betray him, not to sell him for another God. Because me and you we have other gods in our lives. Many people, they, they have uh, their uh, social media as a God. Uh, many people, they have their, uh, uh, like what they do on the, on the internet as a God. Like they have uh, bad habits they do on the internet. They, many people, they have lust as a God. Many people, they have ego as a God. Uh, you might have a God of these gods that, that, that is causing you to betray your God because you're enslaved to such a habit, you're enslaved to such sin. And this has to be, ha you need to let go of this. You need to let go of such God who is causing you to, be to betray the Lord because without letting go, you might not be able, you might, be, you might not be able to see him. Uh, some people's got their, uh, their beauty, their fashion, their, like w the way that they are dressed. They're like uh, she's in worship with her body. Uh, other people are in worship with their mind and how, how much like uh, uh, degrees that they had uh, and uh, how much they could, uh, they, they could achieve ac academically and so on. They are in worship with their egos. Uh, uh, if if this is the case, we, we need to repent. We need to, we need to be ready to see the Lord. This has to, has to be let go of. Because uh, God is need to, God, God if, if you are to worship God, you, you need to worship um, Him only. As it said in the, in the, uh, uh, tenth, uh, the, 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 the Ten Commandments of God. So do not betray the Lord for another God that you, you may have in your life. Um, uh, if you want to see the Lord, follow him during the Passion Week. Uh, on, on Thursday, he, if you want to see the Lord, you will see him uh, kneeling uh, at, at, at the feet of his disciples to watch them, to watch the feet of his disciples. And that's, that's to tell you, like those who, who can see the Lord are those who can go down, who can uh, accept uh, other people the way they are accept the mistakes of others and are easy to forgive others and to wash their feet. Learn to serve others as, as your master came not to be served, but to serve. If the master is here to serve, so me and you are supposed to be servants to others, not, 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 not to seek uh, like uh, uh, praise from others, not, not, not to seek some sort of, uh, uh, of uh, like uh, uh, to be like, uh, high compared to others and ask others to serve us uh, don't do this because this could hinder you from seeing the Lord the Lord is seen to the lowly the Lord is seen to those who do not think too high of themselves who do not uh, who do not like uh, uh, assume that people are to be uh, to, to serve them or or to be like and uh, in, in their and their service all the time uh, Lord if, if I want to see you on, on Friday, I will see you crucified on the cross uh, for my sin and for, mo for your sin. Uh, the Lord is seen on the cross, and that's what he said to us. If you want to see me, follow me, follow me to the cross. 
on Friday, the Lord is declaring that he loves you and loves me to the extent that he would die for you and for me. Me and you are, were supposed to be uh, hanged on the cross uh, for our sins. However, the Lord decided to take the sin and to die for me and for you that, that we may have eternal life. So if, if we are to see him on Friday, is we need to give our whole life to him. We just leave it at his hands and tell him, Lord, shape it the way that you want. Uh, tell us what, how do you want us to live? That's your life. It's not our life anymore. Uh, as it's written in Second Corinthians chapter 5, and he died for all that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Uh, if you are to see the Lord on the cross, the Lord is telling you, you need to give me your life. I give you my life, then, then you need to give, to give me your life because it's not yours anymore. I saved you, I redeemed you. And if, uh, if you want to see me, then your life is to be given to me that I may shape it the way that that I see fit. You wish to see Jesus follow him step by step during this holy week. Do not, do not waste a minute, please. Do not go on your social media. Do not, do not go on your TV, on whichever games you play. Do not do this. Do not waste a minute. Keep, uh, keep focused on the readings of the church. Keep focused on coming regularly to uh, attend the Pascha time and to connect with him as much as you possibly can. May his, may his name be glorified forever and ever. Amen.